Mike, I am in Italy. Right now, on top of uh, this wall at this convent that we're staying in, it's actually rather dangerous, but I'm doing this for y'all. For you. Uh, some more questions. What's the worst part about touring? Not being able to share it with like the people who are my heart. Like I'm grateful for the people that are here, but you know, every single day I think about how it would be if my little brother was here. <laughs> how funny it would be if I had my band members here, Brandon Newsom, trying to order some food in Italy, you know, at a spot where they speak no English whatsoever. I just think that's so funny. You know, or hanging out talking about life on a bus ride with uh with my man James Waddell or <laughs> laughing with my pastor Anya Buile. Uh, we visited the Muhammad Ali Museum. When you go home and you take the pictures and the video footage and everything else, it's not the same. My favorite place that I've gone so far, this Italian thing is, is quite incredible. the vibe, the culture, the people, the food. Hands down, that's been the best food out of everywhere we've gone. Italy. The food has just been insane. Uh, how long does it take to set up? Um. I don't know. Uh, we have a remarkable crew who goes in before we ever get there and they set up everything to where all I have to do is walk on stage, put it in my in-ears and play. And um, I, it's just, it's phenomenal to see how they work. And um, you know, they do a great job. So I couldn't tell you how long it takes to set up because I'm, I'm never there to see it. And um, I'm extremely grateful because they make my job that much easier. Did I ever think that one day I would be traveling the world doing music? At one point I did. But then, after struggling for a while, it's not that I stopped thinking that I would, I just stopped thinking about it, period. And it was always a day-to-day, gig-to-gig, check-to-check situation. So, you know, it's not like I ever lost sight of the opportunity to do music on a global scale. It's just, you know, life happened. And, uh, and this thing came so quick that it's difficult at times to really grasp the fact that as of right now and as of the past year, this has been my life. And uh, I'm grateful, extremely. Do mishaps ever occur? Yes. Mistakes happen, whether it's wrong notes, that's, that's minuscule. Uh, there have been two nights in a row in Spain where the power went out on stage. And uh, Keb just 
uh, had to kind of save the situation by himself. One night, we started singing whatever Hispanic songs we knew. Which, in a sense, almost felt like a slap in the face of the culture. <laughs> but they went with it and it was cool. And then number two, uh, the second night, we just grabbed an acoustic guitar, huddled around a mic, and sang loud. And yeah, um, but it went over. And, uh, you know, it just, stuff happened. Thanks for asking the questions and tuning in. And there it is. If, if you have any other questions or uh, anything else, hit me up. I'll do what I can, and I'll try to get uh, some of the other band members in at some point if they want to. Some of the crew members, definitely. And then, um, who knows? At some point, you may get a little cab more, if you ask nicely. All right, holla. Oh, yeah, I'll leave you with some of the stuff. We played this bullfighting arena in Spain. And uh, the encore call that they did was this thing that they do at the soccer games, which was really, really cool.